Hey guys, Tyler here, welcome back. And now I'm going to be doing a video of my Q&A number 3. And I'm actually going to be doing it a day early because um, I'm not going to be home pretty much all day tomorrow. So, I decided I'm going to go ahead and do it a day early um, than I originally planned. So, today's June 29, 2016. I'm going to do it today. And we do have a Skype guest for this one, to Benny. Stop. And let's start. First question is from Davini already. Yeah. Um, first question, did I know Sean Autumn was the first Cheetah Shield tape ever made? Um, I did now. Yeah. In fact, guys, here is proof. This is the first Cheetah Shield tape ever made. Mm-hmm. His screen is loading. Hold on. Whoops. I w whoops. There we go. There it is. There's the tape. Number 29, 1985, I oh remember. my god, I hope they get that tape one day. And this has the box going to stop the end. That's rare. Yep. And people keep saying Malachi has done the first Cheeto they made. One, this is the second Cheeto they made. Yeah. And the next question is from VHS Gamer 99 yes, Cordella, no. Do I hate Fairy Odd Parents? Yes, I do, in my opinion. But if you guys like Fairy Odd Parents, I do respect your opinion. Hey, and the next seven questions are from Brandon, the movie guy. His first question is, why do I hate Toy Story 2 and Toy Story 3? Well, first thing, in my opinion, they really had nothing to do with the original. I mean, I understand it's not supposed to be a complete copy of the original, but they could have at least um, had a theme similar to it. That could have, um, they could have at least, um, like... You have to, you know, you're not supposed to make it completely different and just change it up so much. You're supposed to, um, kind of like what they did in Back to the Future. You're supposed to take off exactly where last left off, not skip so ahead and just be confused, you know. That's not the way to do it, in my opinion. Number two, are there any modern movies that I like? Little to none, to be honest. Number three, how old are my cats? Well, uh, my oldest cat is around 17, and my youngest cat is around 9 to 10 months old. Number 4, do I hate Caillou? Yes, I can't stand that show at all. Number 5, do I like pizza? Yes, I do. I, in fact, I love pizza. What my favorite pizza place? Um, not sure, actually. Number six, if I could order, I mean, if I could see any older movie in the theater, what would it be? Hmm, either Home Alone or, let me think, Home Alone, Die Hard, or, hmm, that's a hard one. Maybe I'd say The Sound of Music, possibly. And maybe something else, I'm not sure. Number seven, do I like Prince? Um, I have not listened to his music yet, so I'm not sure. He died on April 21st of this year. Well, rest in peace to Prince. I hope to get to be in the Purple Rain. And Free mm Red -hmm. and Championship. All it's on Prince. Yeah. Uh, the next question is from Jonathan. Don't know the last name. Yet again. Number one, the first question is, what's my opinion on Disney's Hercules? Not sure. Number two with my favorite Pixar movie. Hmm, I'm not sure. Number three, do I hate Chuck E. Cheese's? Yes, I can't stand Chuck E. Cheese's anymore, in my opinion. But if anybody likes Chuck E. Cheese's, I do respect your opinion. I don't like Chuck E. Cheese's at all anymore. Number four, what's my thoughts on most amazing top tens videos of discussing things around McDonald's? I've actually never seen those. Um, but I might plan to watch them in the future. Number five, do I hate Warner Brothers nowadays? Um, yeah, kind of do, especially because this Friday is a Legend of Her a Tarzan movie, which is going to ruin the original classic again. Oh, God. Why, Warner Brothers? Why would you do that? That movie already got that. Yep, it got the boring shield, all right. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, uh, not to get off topic here, but um, I ordered tapes recently, and a couple of them are going to be coming in the mail, so expect a VHS surprise video coming later. Not to get off topic there, but a couple of my tapes are coming. 
and hint. Um, a couple of them are born shield. Hold on a minute. Where were we? Um, well, on number six. Okay. If you had a choice to watch Tom and Jerry or Charlie Brown, which one do you pick? Um, I would pick Tom and Jerry, to be honest. But I do respect your opinion that you would pick Charlie Brown. I mean, I mean, I do like Charlie Brown, but um, I kind of would prefer Tom and Jerry, to be honest. Number seven, do I hate one of the worst movies ever called Joe's Apartment? I have never seen it. Number eight, do I think the 1996 Pinocchio movie is a, a huge ripoff to Disney's Pinocchio? Yes, I do. And it ruins our childhood, too. Uh oh Number nine, do I hate the TV show Maya and the and Miguel? Yeah. Uh, not sure. Number ten, which Disney movie do I like better? 101 Animations or Lady and the Tramp? Um, I probably have to go for 101 Animations. In my opinion. Number 11. Do I still like The Simpsons? Um, not really the modern Simpsons. But I, I do like the older Simpsons. I do hope to get more Simpsons tapes sometime soon. Like I hope to get a UK Simpsons tape. I forgot what it was called. But it had the red screen of Daphne. And I hope to get that one sometime soon. Whenever I find it. Um, yeah I do like The Simpsons. Still. Well the older episodes that is. Number 12, what's my opinion on the movie Wild's Grammar because they're Rare Rabbit? Um, mm, I think it's mad, but I will keep my 2 on 6 VHS of it. That's extremely hard to find. That's extremely expensive online. And the last question, number 13, do I plan to watch the 1967 psychological horror movie? Walt. Well, no, wait, yeah, <laughs> I almost said Walt. Way until dark, starring Audrey Ember. What? Skype! Oh, not another video you're ruining? Come on! This is not fair. Yeah, thank you, Skype. Thank you. Anyways, I've never seen that movie. I plan to watch it sometime soon. Alright. Yeah, I know you're going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, you just had to do that. <sighs> Man. Talk about annoyance. Next question is from Fox Searchlight Pictures and VHS Fanatic 2002. Number one. How many Warner Bros. tapes do I have with the 75th anniversary trailer? Mm, around 5 to 10, I think. Or maybe more, I don't know. How many Sony tapes do I have without the Columbia TriStar logo? Hmm. I'll have to think about that one. It's kind of a hard one. I think around 5 to 10 as well. Number three, is there any VHSs I would like to get that don't have any previews? Quite a few, actually. Like, uh, Last Action Hero, maybe Striking Distance, so I could do the opening of my Tire Showing South Routine channel. Um, what else? Some others I'll have to get, too. Like, um, the Canadian copy of Little Black Book with Sony that has no previews. Like, I know DaVinci has that tape. Who Skype decided to disconnect on just now. Because Skype wants to just laugh at our problems. <sighs> number three, number four, excuse me. What's my thoughts on Queen Artists? Not sure. Number five, are there any tapes that I would like with the blue lid and or black reels? Maybe both. Quite a few. Number six, what's my thoughts on Universal Studios Home Entertainment tapes? I prefer, I mean, I would hope to get more soon. I really do like those tapes. Um, number seven, is there any Disney tapes 1990 through 1999 that I hope to get that, are, that, that I like that are reprints? For example, 1970 is the Rocket Man, it's a 2002 reprint. Yes, I do like those reprints. I do have quite a few of them now, but I hope to get more soon. Number eight, what's my thoughts on the anti-piracy warning being on VHS from 2005 and stuff like that? And Devane's trying to call. Hey, Sky there, wants to be hilarious and laugh at our problems. There's this, there's the internet, and this time you 
I know, right? The internet tried to cut you off. Come on, internet. You did so good for the last few hours. They deserve the boring shield. Q&A video, too. I know. Silly them. Number eight. <sighs> Besides late 2005 times 6 Paramount VHSs, do I hope to get any Paramount VHSs with print dates? I actually do have a few. Wait. Besides late 2006, 2005 times 6, I do have one that is printed in 1998 that has an equal label and print date. It's Event Horizon. Other than that, I don't have any that are like that. Hope to get more soon. I don't think... Or I, maybe I do have a. I think I do have the copy of Train Places Print Tom Three with with a sticker label and a print date. Pretty weird. Um, but other than that, I'm not really sure if I have any others. But I'm gonna have to check my collection again. But um, wait, uh, Star Trek Nemesis Print July First, Two Thousand Three. I remember the print date. It has a sticker label. And number nine. You have based on print March sixteen ninety nine. Oh yeah, I have that too. And Top Gun Printer 13 S98. I've actually have quite a few, I guess. Number nine, I heard. I, I mean, he heard a VHS, a VHS, and VHS2, and VHS Viral all exist. Do I hope to get these? Yes, I do. I hope to get these in the, all in the future. Because they are extremely rare. Number 10. Um, do I hope to get more Canadian tapes? Yes, I do. I have in the 20s right now. Hope to get more soon. I have 29. Nice. You have even more than I do. Number 11. If I've seen VHSs with credits on the side, get it when you see it. Yeah, I plan to. Number 12. What's my thoughts on the full Monty? I have never seen it. Hope to get the VHS, though. Number, thir the VHS. Mm -hmm. Number 13. Number 13. What's the best place to get rid of two used DVDs he does not want? Examples are Home in the Winky and Ramono and Beezus. Not sure. Excuse me. That was impolite to do in a video. Number 14. How many big W tapes do I have? Um, I have quite a few. Especially in clamshells. Number 15. Have I heard of seen it? Yes, I have. But I've never played it. 16. He needs advice. How would I tell the bootleg VHS... An example is Casper, Caseless VHS. Um, well, you can tell if it's a bootleg if it if it does not have a print date at all. If it has like a blue skin adapter or something. That's how you can tell it's a bootleg. But if it plays pretty much normal, there's nothing, no blue screen adapter or anything, then probably it's more likely the real thing. Number 17. Do I know there's one Cheesy Shield variant where the Cheesy Shield disappears and there's no Warner Home Video text? Do I hope to get any tapes that are like that? Yes, I do. I actually do know that exists. In fact, if any actually has a tape with that, in fact, if any, if you want, you could play the logo really quick. Yep. Let me get it out first. And show the tape if you want. I know you have a tape like that. Here it is. It's a demo tape. I hope to get that tape one day if I ever find it at my thrift store. Number 10 on a 4. Nice. And it's the way the disappearing cheesy shield right here. Let's see the disappearing cheesy shield. I bet that's pretty awesome. Well, we're not doing the cheesy shield. Yep, so it has both the, that disappearing cheesy shield and the re regular cheesy shield. That's pretty cool. No copyright friends been intended. Yes. Sorry about the tracking. That is rare. The tape is not damaged, it's just a tracking. Yeah, I know. Um, number 18, do I hope to get any Canadian Warner Home videotapes that are red? Yes, I do. Number 19, do I hope to get Special Collector Series Edition VHS from 1986 from Paramount? I do have some, I hope to get more soon. I number 20. I don't know where it went. So yeah, I hope to, hope to get that tape sometime. Mm -hmm. Number 20, how many EP mode tapes do I have? And can I show them off, please? Well, I'll make a video of all the EP mode tapes I have in the future. Um, I have quite a few. I have around 20 or something. 
And the final question is from VHS Fan 2003 Productions. Again, Q&A number four. If you guys have any more questions, if not, I will not do it. But if you guys have any more questions at all, I will do it. Anyways, number one, if I find a Cammy Screener tape of Toy Story 2 at the book alley, would I get it or leave it? I would leave it because I hate the movie. Number two, why do I hate the Zootopia? Yeah. <laughs> Zootopia? Yeah. Sorry, my... My voice starting to give out now. Um, I personally, I think the animation is a, is recycled from Robin Hood. That and it does not look good at all. And I think not only that, but I think that I think it just looks downright terrible in my opinion. Fart humor, all that other crap. Ugh, terrible. In my opinion, I do respect your opinion. And there's other reasons why I hate it too. Those are just some of the main ones. Number three, how much are tapes in my area? In my area, um, it's around one dollar to fifty cents to twenty-five cents. It's around there. But when I went to the book outlet, it was ten cents. But unfortunately, can't go there anymore because they're only selling DVDs now. And number four, what's my opinion of Finding Dory? I think it looks downright terrible. They shouldn't. They should have just left Finding Nemo alone. Am I going to see it in theaters? No, I will not. I'm skipping it. Number five. What is my favorite Warner Home Video logo? Big W, Cheesy Shield, Boring Shield. Uh, Big W and Cheesy Shield. Boring Shield is meh. Number six. Do I still have any childhood tapes? I don't anymore. Because my parents got rid of them when I was younger. Because they didn't think I would be a VHS collector. Um, but, um, but I am a VHS collector, obviously. I've been a VHS collector since 2009, so probably over seven years. So yeah. So yeah, obviously I, I am a VHS collector. I, I love VHS collecting and I'm still gonna collect VHS tapes um from years to come. Not to get off topic though, but yeah. So the conclusion is I don't have any childhood tapes. Hope to get I mean well, um yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be getting some of them back though. Like childhood tapes, I don't think I'm gonna be getting back anymore. Well, except for Disney ones. Those I probably will get back for my Disney collection. And that's pretty much it. That's all the questions I got so far. And any other questions, feel free to ask them. If you don't have any others, that's cool. Um, just for the people that have more questions. And I will see you guys later.